Hi. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can import data from PhaseShift into Blender. The clip I'm going to use is a sample performance available on our support website. I will also need the profile provided here. I have already downloaded the files, so let's take a look at them in PhaseShift Studio. First, let's load the actor profile. I'm going to build the same blend shape model that PhaseShift uses in Blender. So let's export the shapes as OBJ files. For this, go to File, Inspect Profile, and here you can export the shapes as OBJ files. Now let's open the sample clip. Go to Tracking, Load, and you will test. Hi, little test sequence for you to play around with. To import this in Blender, I will export the clip in BVH format. Click Export, Export Markers, BVH. Here we have some parameters to set up. What I'm going to use are the blend shape coefficients that are stored into the BVH file, so I don't care about the marker set. I will use resampling to 24 fps, and I will use meters as export unit. I also want to export the audio clip and the video sequence. Let's switch to Blender now. First, we will build a blend shape model that is used by Phase Shift. So let's import the shapes that we exported. Go to Import, OBJ. Unfortunately, Blender can't load all these files at once, so I'll have to do it one by one. I'll start with the neutral shape. The OBJs are exported in millimeters, so let's scale this down. And let's add the first blend shape, which is the left eye blink. Again, File, Import, OBJ, and then choose the first blend shape. Again, I will have to scale this down. And now I have two meshes. One for the neutral shape, and one for the first blend shape with this closed eye. Now we can combine these shapes. In phase shift, we call these blend shapes. In Blender, it is called shape keys. Go to the object data tab, and here you will find the shape keys panel. Select the blend shape first and then add the neutral shape to the selection using Shift. Then click this arrow button and choose Join as Shapes. We now have the neutral basis shape and the eye blink shape that can be controlled with this slider. You see the eye closing. The eye blink shape is now stored in this object, so we'll, we don't need this other mesh anymore. Let's add more blend shapes. File, Import, OBJ. Let's continue with the right eye blink. Scale it down again. Select both objects. Join as shapes. And we now have two shape keys imported. And 46 more shapes to go. Okay, all done. I now have 48 shape keys. 
What I'm going to do now is control these keys by using the bvh file that I exported from Faceshift. Let's load that first. File, import, motion capture, bvh. Let me just hide this bone here first. There we go. What you see in the background are the virtual markers. And this is a matrix of 48 bones that control our blend shape weights. And if I play this, you will see that these uh, rotate up to 90 degrees. Now I will show you how you can control these shape keys by taking the transformations from these bones. Go to the shape keys panel again, select the shape, and now right click this slider and choose add driver. This allows us to set up a control that will update this weight automatically. Let's do this the same for another shape. Here we go. Now let's set the input for these drivers. For this, we will need the graph editor. And we need it in drivers mode. Now we have the two drivers that we added for these two shapes now. Now select the value and open up this properties panel here. We are not going to use any of this stuff except for the drivers. We can even delete this modifier here. Here you can select the bone data source. What we need is its set rotation in local space. You can check show debug info to see what's happening. Now usually you would see this value being updated automatically. But it is possible that the automatic update is disabled for security reasons. To enable it, go to File, User Preferences, File, Auto Run Python Scripts. Now this value should change according to the loaded data when you move through the animation. But as you can see, the shape still did not change. This is because this value is negative. As a driver, we can enter a scripted expression here, so we can easily flip the sign by writing minus where, where where is the name of this variable. Now you may also notice that this value is greater than 1, because it is based on an angle in radians. To map it to values between 0 and 1, we multiply it by 2 and divide by pi. This turns a 90 degree angle into the output value 1. I just noticed that this is wrong. This needs to be I blink left. Now let's do the same for the other shape key. Choose the bone. Set rotation in local space and use the scripted expression minus variable times 2 divided by pi. Now you can see the eye blinks on the shapes. And again, I have more tedious work ahead of me to map the remaining 46 drivers. Right click, add driver, select this, choose the bone, I squint left, set the rotation in local space, let's just copy this from here and paste it here. I have now mapped all drivers. 
Let's take a look at the result. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.